Well, hello there, folks. Welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, still in the shed. Yes, still under lockdown. And yes, I've got another review for you. This one's a little bit different, folks. Like to give a big shout out to Roy Aquaviti for doing those recycled reviews. It just so happens that I have 10 fa fantastic bottles at the minute that need recycling. So I thought I'd take a leaf out of Roy's book. Not to steal his thunder, Roy's the man, Roy's the king of recycle reviews. I just thought I've got 10 bottles to recycle, let's just do it as a video. So, big thanks to everyone, let's crack on with the first one. This one is the Glen Cadam 15, it's a Highland single malt. It's one of the lesser known single malts. Uh, for me it's great, I did do a... I did a, a, a group of reviews of the Glen Cadam Co range back last year. Uh, this was review number 36. If you want to go back and check it out, I might try and pop a link above uh, to this one. But this is 46% uh, natural colour and it's unchill filtered, which is how we like it. Uh, the fantastic thing with this one is it's light, it's crisp, it's fresh. It's fruity, it's sweet. All the Glen Caddams that I went through, what the, the common denominator had, were all super, super sweet, and this is no exception. But from the very first dram to the last dram, this was absolutely fantastic. Sweet, I have a real sweet tooth myself, guys. You probably know that now. But the difference with this one is it's it's sweet, it's fruity, it's very mouth-watering, it's juicy, it's got lots of lemons and melons. Uh, it's got that nice, real nice malty note in it. Uh, there's a little spice, little oak spice, and wonderfully balanced, but absolutely fantastic dram. This one, would I buy it again? Absolutely. As long as I can get this, this is available, this will always be on my shelf, and this is a definite eight and a half out of 10. Let's have a sip of this before I move on to the next one. This is Glen Cadam 15, so I'm having something fresh and fruity. Okay, folks, moving on to the second one. This is X Bourbon as well, Bourbon Casks. You probably recognise the label. It's the Kilcarran 8 Cask Strength 56.2. This is the Bourbon one, not the Sherry one. Uh, this is the Batch 1. See, this is the third bottle of this I've had. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, this was powerful, it was intense, it was spirit driven. Lots of citrus notes, that lemon's there again, some lemon, lime, lots of barley sugar sweetness in this one, um, but also had some really, really nice spicy ginger notes, a little bit salty, absolutely one, the balance was fantastic, uh, still a big, big cereal note, um, bit of grassy notes, uh, bit, lots of toffee, vanilla, and it was nutty. This said everything. I actually preferred this one, guys, with a drop of water in this. It just brought out more of those citrus notes. Beautifully balanced, and it had that typical kill caring character. Um, and with the water, it just became a little bit more spicier on the finish. This is a definite 8.5 out of 10, guys. Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Here we go, this is one here, I don't know how we've done with this. I have reviewed this as well, but this is the Compass Box, the original Spice Tree. So this is the, this was the band Whiskey. Um, this was, I say, this was done in 2005, this is batch one. We had 4,150 bottles of these. Uh, the, the reason you can tell this one is it has the rose on it. Uh, that gives that lets you know that it's the inaugural bottle. Uh, this was the one that the Scottish Whiskey Association kind of banned this because of the use of oak staves. Um, I have reviewed this as well, so you might want to track this down and check it. There's a bit more info about Compass Box on this, but this was fantastic. This was all spice, all cardamom, clove, cinnamon, ginger, every clove, every, every spice you can imagine was in this one. But at the same time, it was a little bit fruity, a little bit toffee, nutty, vanilla. It had everything in this one as well. I opened this one up in my 1,000 subscriber live stream. So it took a bit of opening this bottle up. Um, will I replace it? It'll be very, very difficult to replace it. The only place you can get a hold of these now is at auction and they're not cheap. Um, but if the chance arrives, I would very happily collect this one again. 
This is a 9 out of 10. Okay, folks, moving on to number four. This is an old friend of mine. Long Moan 16. Yeah, this one is discontinued bottle. Um, this one is, this bottle's time stamped is August 2015, this bottle. I've picked these up regularly at auction. If the price is right, then I usually always dive in. My last recycle review had one of these in it as well, so I'm going through this one quite a bit. Uh, absolutely fantastic whiskey. It's very fruity again, spicy, it's intense. It's tropical, lots of tropical fruit, some pineapple, lots of honey, lots of vanilla, lots of apples. Um, but I say it's a complex dram, really nice, spicy with that black pepper note through it as well. It's woody, it's earthy, it's grassy. Fantastically rich and creamy. It's almost syrupy in the mouthfeel. Uh, beautifully balanced and it's a really, really nice, subtle dram. Uh, really surprising, but on the finish of this, it's all spicy again. It's 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 cinnamon, it's clove, it's pepper, and it's a little bit oaky on the finish. This one here, guys, for me, it depends on what kind of price. Sometimes the great auction, sometimes they're a wee bit overpriced. So yeah, I would buy this at the right money. Um, anything up to a hundred pounds, I'd pay for this. I have paid more for it in the past, but they are becoming a little bit more available. Uh, Long Moan sixteen. Definite nine and a half out of ten this one. Wow. Okay. Okay folks, let's move on to number five. This is the last of the ex bourbon casks. This is the Klein Lease 14. Big shout out to Diageo. Thanks for dropping this bottle out as readily available as it is. I'm knocking it out at 46% ABV, which we love. It's in that 45 to 50 pound price bracket. I'm sure that sometimes it pops up on offer. Uh, if it pops up, snatch it up. It's a Highland single malt, this, it's coastal. Uh, a little bit of briny, salty, waxy. It's a real waxy whiskey. It's oily, oily, waxy texture on the mouthfeel. Lots of fresh fruit, lots of apples, lots of apricot, banana, melon, a little bit tropical. At the same time, it has those really, really nice herbal notes. It's a little bit mineral, it's a real nice chalky texture to it it's like those we have some sweets in the uk they're like the little refreshers or the little love hearts a little it's a little chalky sweet uh it reminds me of that lots of toffee lots of honey lots of spicy ginger and it's a little bit mini minty heading towards the finish and it's really really mouth-watering clean least 14 eight and a half out of ten okay folks moving on to the sherry drams now I'm sure you, won't be, sure you won't be surprised there's one of these in here. Glen Drawn Up 15 Revival. This is a Rachel Barry bottling. Everyone who's watched my videos will know my history with Glen Drawn Up 15. This is no exception. I've went through a couple of bottles of these. Um, 60, 65 pounds. It's unbelievable money, guys. Fantastic quality. Beautiful whiskey. It's rich. It's this one is the difference with the original one is it was all Olor Oloroso sherry. This is a mix of PX and Oloroso. Uh, this is the whiskey I say it got me hooked on sipping whiskey rather than collecting it. Uh, fantastic stuff. It's all rich. It's dark fruits, raisins, figs, uh, sherry bomb, sherry monster, whatever you want to call it. There's a really, really nice orange you note know, in this. It's nutty. It's really, really sweet, super, super stuff. Um, just one of my favourite whiskies. And would I buy this again? What do you think? This is a 9 out of 10. Okay, where are we going next? Number 7. This one. Tomatin PX. Distillery exclusive single cask. And it was distilled 30th of November 2001, bottled 8th of May 2019. For you whiskey geeks out there, it was cask number 34867, and this was bottle number 241. This one, an ABV 55.5. This, this was a real brute. This was a monster of a whiskey. 
Sherry Bomb, you, you could call it Monster Bomb, you could call it whatever you liked. Uh, I wasn't too keen on it at the very, very beginning. Um, I have done a review recently, I think it was review number 116, where I've had a, I've reviewed it once it was getting towards the bottom end of the bottle. So I did do it originally as a neck pour, uh, and I don't think I, I got on too well with it. Um, but as it got went down the bottle, it just got better and better. I shared this quite a bit with some folk, and I don't think anybody was disappointed they got it. Um, for me, this this was everything. This is nutty. It was dark, dark chocolate, nuts, dark fruits, dried fruits, coffee, big big blast of honey. You could tell it was an aged whiskey. Lots of figs, plums, cherry, spicy. Uh, complex is a real real monster of a whiskey uh, I think I paid about 90 pounds for it which was probably the best 90 pounds I've ever spent um, but as it's went down the bottle it just got better and better I actually quite recently had the last dram out of it and it was just as intense as it was from the very very beginning it didn't lose any of its intensity any of its power if anything it got more powerful um, Need to be looking at getting a hold, get up to Tomatin to have a look at replacing this. I know I can't replace this one, but I'll certainly replace something similar. Uh, it's Bottle Your Own at Tomatin. Uh, this one, unbelievably, 9.5 out of 10, this one. Okay, folks, let's move on to another Sherry Bomb. It wouldn't be a recycled review without a Glen Goyne in it, and this is dived straight in at number 7. Uh, this is the Glen Goyne 21, another Sherry Bomb, Sherry Monster, Sherry Driven. This one for me is, is an elegant whisky, subtle, beautifully balanced, 43% ABV, so some of you real hardcore whisky nuts may be put off with a 43, I wouldn't be put off with a 43% because I think the 43% ABV is perfect for this one. Absolutely wonderful whiskey. I say it's it's lots of honey, toffee, vanilla, that Christmas cake notes there, those raisins, those figs, everything you would expect from a sherry bomb is here. I say it's elegant, it's subtle. Um real, real nice sipping whiskey. It's 21 year old, but I think it's about 120 pounds a bottle at the minute. Uh, I have seen it for less, just creeping under that hundred pound mark. Would I buy it again? If I can get it just slightly under that £100, which I'm sure I will do at some point, I'll definitely buy this. Absolutely fantastic whiskey, this one. Uh, Glen Goyne, 21. This is another 9 out of 10, this one. Wow. Okay, where are we going next, you may ask? Sherry again. You might recognise the bottle. Well, I hope you will. It's Kilcairn again, but it's a different Kilcairn 8. This is the, the Sherry Bomb, the Sherry Monster. The one that I was drooling over at the beginning of the year. The one that I stated could possibly be my whiskey of the year and the very first whiskey that I had of the year. Um, again, I have reviewed it, guys. Um, you may want to check out the Kilcairn 8 Sherry Monster. Um, I'll try and pop a link to that one because I think you might want to check this one out if you've not already. Uh, this one here, the whole world went crazy around this bottle. This is the 57.1% ABV Sherry, it's Richard um, Sherry Oak. This is a monster. It uh, Right from the get-go, I loved it from the very first dram. Big honey notes. Um, just regards with this one, guys. When it came to sharing whiskey, I, I shared lots of whiskey. But for some reason with this one, I can only shared a couple of drams from this because it was just too nice and it was too lovely and it was too wonderful to share. Uh, I have already replaced it. If you're the eagle-eyed, you've probably noticed it's up here already. So I've got my backup from this already one. Uh, but this again, this had absolutely everything. It was dark, it was dusty, it was damp, it had charcoal, it had smoke. It was juicy, it was tropical, uh, it was nutty, it was walnutty, it was it had smoky bacon, it had that ham note, it had red fruit, it was mouth watering, it had pepper, it had ginger, it had cinnamon, figs, tobacco, leather, you name it, it was in this whiskey. Uh, lovely, lovely oak note as well in it. 
Um, the complexity of this was fantastic. It's a real complex whiskey, considering it was only eight years old. Um, to be honest, guys, I can't ever see my shelf not having one of these on it. And for that fact, this has to be a nine and a half out of ten. Okay, okay folks, what is going to be number ten? Okay, <laughs> here we go. Look at this, baby. Glen Goyne's back, but not just any Glen Goyne. This is the Glen Goyne 25. 48% ABV, 25 years in first fill sherry. Wow, what a dram this was. It's expensive, guys. I think I paid about £350 at the time for it. It was probably the most expensive bottle of whiskey that I bought and drunk. Uh, this had everything. Christmas cake, raisins, figs, cherries, plums, dark notes, red red apples, orange, orange citrus, old leather, tobacco. It was fruity. It wasn't a sweet fruitiness. It was a kind of dry fruity. Uh, lots of dark chocolate. Absolutely fantastic whiskey. Um, will I replace this? Absolutely. I know it's expensive, so I may have to save up to replace this one, but this will definitely get replaced. Uh, the Glen Goyne 25 is just a fantastic drama. See, I shared a few of these as well, and everyone loved it. 25 years in first fill sherry, why wouldn't you love it? Um, but this is probably, without a shadow of a doubt, guys, the best sherry whiskey that I've ever tasted. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting myself another one. This for me, guys, is a definite 10 out of 10. Okay, folks, that's it. Another one done. 10 whiskies. I think they're 10 fantastic whiskies. It's just a credit to how much fantastic whiskey I'm actually getting to drinking it when it. I'm very humbled and very chuffed, and I'm proud to share it with you. That's pretty much me, guys. If you've liked the video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, smash that thumbs up button, thumbs the like button, the thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. If you've subscribed already, then thank you very much. If you haven't, you may want to consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Just a friendly reminder, guys, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and you're helping the channel on its way to the magical 2K. So that's pretty much me done and dusty, guys. Um... I'll see you all soon. Just wish everybody good health, your family good health. Hope you're all staying in, you're all staying safe. And I'll catch you all again in the next one. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers now. Okay, so it looks like some of you, hopefully somebody stayed on to the very, very end of the video. Uh, it wouldn't be a recycle the video without a giveaway. I actually do have a giveaway. The 10 samples that I've just, the 10 bottles that I've just chucked out, I have saved a dram of each of them. So I'm going to put a, a sample pack out of five of them. I think whoever gets to be drawn from, if you pop a comment in the down below samples please then i'll enter you into the draw and if whoever i pick out in my next live stream they can then choose which five of these drams that they wanted they want me to send them so i've got one of each of them so if that's the case that's me guys i'm alan i'm the whiskey friend see you again soon take care bye bye